opening day uh, for archery deer season here in Nebraska. As you can tell, it's a little breezy. Um, we got in here about an hour before daylight, and so far I haven't had any action. I haven't seen or heard a deer out in this cornfield. Um, so action's been really, really slow. But these last few weeks have been really hard on the deer. I myself have found five deer dead. CWD, EWD, and Blue Tongue have all hit in this area at the same time, and the deer are really, really taking a hit. So. My guess is that the deer that are still alive and healthy are still out in this cornfield, and uh, I guess we'll just wait it out. I'm gonna sit, you know, till 10 or 11 later in the morning. Maybe one will work its way out of the cornfield and we get a shot. reports of dead deer everywhere so uh, we got this tree grove we're coming up to right now we got a stand in there that Ryan killed went in last year so uh, right now there's a whole bunch of rubs that popped up over the week so we'll give it a try tonight and see what we can get on right now I'm sitting on a canyon draw I can see a big buck bedded on the other side and five or six other deer working their way down what I'm gonna try to do is let the other deer go down Hopefully he stays bedded, and I can slip down through this draw and come up behind this tree and get a shot. This is a big bug. He's up. This isn't going to work. Dang it. Something, something's got him spooked. I don't have to whisper anymore. <gasps> anyway, uh, I was sitting about four or five hundred yards across the draw. Uh, wasn't seeing anything, so I decided to pack it up. Wind started shifting, and uh, got up here and I started hearing the corn move over here on this pivot. So I slipped off the boots, got up to the fence, and I could see a rack right here feeding on some of the short corn here. I slid out the tripod, got it on the deer, 32 yards. I centered the pin right, right where the heart is, let that arrow fly, and it smoked him. I don't understand it. He was lo losing so much blood, just ungodly amount of blood, and he just stood up forever. But I just watched him go lay down. I'm gonna give him a little bit of time, and then I'm gonna go recover my buck. Another successful self-filmed hunt, baby. Only for you guys at On One Outdoors. Thanks for viewing. Just a beautiful buck. I got a self-filmed hunt here. I uh, didn't think it was gonna happen. This this year has been one of the toughest years we've ever had. Uh, EWD e has been hitting the deer population. Uh, they're saying up to 40% of the population has been lost. Uh, but just to come out here and be able to self-film a deer like this, it's my third uh, self-filmed hunt, and I'm tickled. Oh, I love this deer. This is a great, beautiful, north-central Nebraska buck, and I'm glad you guys were with me to see this.